Hi fellow Django developers, Hezekiah here from alwaysjango.com where we discuss interesting Django topics that helps you grow, improve as a Django developer. If that sounds interesting, like, share, subscribe. Share this video with anyone that can find that will find this video interesting guys. So let's get into it. Today, like this video is the second video in our Django um, generic class based view playlist, right? Where we're going in depth about everything about Django, generic views, templates views, form views, update views, delete view, everything, every and um, what have you. Yeah. So today we're going to look at the template view, Django generic template view, what to use it for and why we need it. So we have an article here on alwaysdjango.com where we discuss the template view. I'll leave a link to it in the description. You can go check it out. So template view <clears throat> we are just going to reference it right so template view is used to render a template to the browser it is imported from django views generic in the view so template view is simply used to render a template to the browser like render a html template to the browser right it just like every other generic view in django it is imported from django views generic so we have a simple project here very simple project i just created it you can see here is the the view it's not doing nothing really so we are going to look at the template view so we say this is a class so first of all we import it we say from django dot views dot generic we import the template view right so we can we can use this template view in two ways we can use it from the url config file here like the url file here or we can use it from the view for from the view here it's like can create a class inherit from the template view so let's do this first let's get the class and inherit for later we'll create we'll use it in the urls file so first of all we create the class let's say class template view then we head it from this template view here so when we head it from this template view to specify we will render a template here but right now django does not know the template to render so to tell django look at the template we are rendering we say template view then we assign the name of the template right here we have a template view this is the, this is the simple template we have here Django template generic views is what we render out here. So the name of this template is template view. Let me copy it. Copy it and enter it here. So to tell Django the template we want to use for this 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 request, we enter we override this property, this template name property, and that's it. So go to our view, we import go to our urls we import this from sample dot views we import template view so say pass this uh, this dot add view so another thing about gen about class views in django is that class views you know for normal view for normal function views we just give it we just we just use it here like we will not have this as view right here we will not have this as view here right here we just pass it in here but for class based views you always have to remember it these guys or like just like me you might probably get to make this mistake make this error run into 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 um bugs and you don't know what what to get do what how to get it done the simple when you are rendering when you are using class based views in django in your urls.py file don't forget to use it as view as view method here right this will tell django that hey this 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 function this this view handler here we want it as view and not as a class right so does it let's restart our server copy this url our server is running copy this url go back here enter it you can see we have rendered this template here let's make some change to make sure 
we are doing the right thing let's add always Django so let's reload for confirmation always Django so this is it guys this is how, again we talked about using using the template view and and the URL of your file so to do that we say from Django we also import the template view generic we import template view so but instead of inheriting it here instead of inheriting it into a class we use it here as view then template view dot as view then right here we pass in the template name we say the template template name equal to template view dot html that's if i'm right template view template view dot html template view that this is the name of the template so we go back refresh we also have it so these are the two ways you can use the template view in django you can use it either in the views.py file or you can use it in the url.py file you can inherit it from and you can inherit it from a class or you can simply pass in this template view here honestly me myself i usually do this because like i don't see I don't see the necessity to you know create a class and start inheriting and overriding this i just simply go to the url.py file template view dot as view i pass in the template name and that's it go back to our browser we load we still have the same thing so this is it guys this is how you use the template view in django in the next tutorial we'll probably look at form views right we'll probably look at form views we'll also i'll also leave a link to this article you can go check it out leave a link to the playlist you can also go and check it out i think the first video should be what um django generic base views are and what have you so this is for it for me guys like subscribe turn off the notification to stay in touch with new videos like subscribe for the algorithm it helps all of us you you like you subscribe it encourages me you like you subscribe other people get to see this video you also i will also get encouraged to make new videos too help you grow in your journey to become a prolific django developer so that's it guys have a nice day take care of yourself stay safe that's it peace